Whew. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Christie Sports Corner. Uh, real quick, man, hope everybody's having a great, great, great Thursday. Man, I've been on, a, obviously I'm on vacation. I've been on a flight, um, then got here. Uh, man, but I did get to catch uh, that Raptors game, some of it, man, I didn't catch all of it. Um, there's a couple things I want to point out to um, Raptor Nation, man. Um, first of all, hats off to the Hornets, all right? The Hornets is a building team, and, and and I want to give credit to Michael Jordan um, for, for you know, not just settling for that team being bad, you know, giving Gordon Hayward this, this massive contract that may have seemed over – Overpaid, you know. Let's be honest. Many will say that that contract was overpaid. Um, also, drafting Lamelo Ball because I'm gonna be honest, man. A lot of times that Lamelo Ball, and the whole ball thing, can be so much about the dad that it's not about about the player. Um, but he's seen the talent. I think it's gonna it's gonna continue to build, man. I I, I want Charlotte, Charlotte to do good because I don't want Jordan to go down as the best player and the worst owner, <laughs> you know. Um, well, obviously, he's second best to me. All right, let's just put it that way. He's second best. Jordan's second best to me, to Kobe. But we all know I'm biased. I don't make no I don't make no bones about it, and I never apologize for it. I don't care what happened. Jordan is always going to be, I mean, Jordan is always going to be number two to me. Kobe is always going to be number one. But I say all that to say that, you know, I do want that franchise to succeed because I think, it opened the doors for more opportunities and and and, and just give that but that um, belief that you know you can you can make that transition and, and you know maybe to inspire more basketball players to do the same in the future. All right, <clears throat> but let me, let me talk about the Toronto Raptors, man. Um, Boucher, leading scorer again. Um, this game got tight again, but they pulled it out. I think it's baby steps, man. I think this Tor this Toronto Raptors team is going to have to take baby steps. You know, like let's get a win. You know, let's make the shots. Let's 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 play together and understand what our common goal is. Um, again, man, I I, I do believe in the, in the Toronto Raptors. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fake the funk, man. Like I really believe that this team, um. It's gonna. It, it can be there at the end of this year. They, they didn't. I get what they lost in Seattle and 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 Serge Ibaka and pa, and uh, Mark Gasol. I get what they lost in them. I understand 100. percent But I do believe that this team still got its fabric. It still got its core. You don't give Steady Freddie that type of money if you don't think he's that guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't make that happen if you don't think he's that guy. Um, so if, if, if that's the case, then it, you need everyone to play up to their contract, play up to what they're trying to do, and, you know, see Siakam again. I, I, I know. it's it, Okay, let's be honest, man. Siakam is like a – you got some people that really love him and you got some people that really hate him. I think he's just emerging. I think he got the superstar plastered on him. You know, he got, he got, he, he just got, hey, you're a superstar. Take that burden, run with it. I think he got it in him, but I think the process is being rushed. He got it, just it's gonna take time. But when you come off a championship, people don't wanna hear, hey, well, it's gonna take us a little time now, you know. Now, you did lose Kawhi, and I get all that. And I don't wanna get too far off the topic here, guys. But I just think, I, I just want, Raptors to like not give up on his team, man. Like you got some people say tank, let's get a draft pick. Um, you know, some people saying, ah, this, you know, let's start looking to see who we can get. Now, do believe if it's a trade to be made, you make that trade. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking, I'm 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 not going away from that. If it's a deal to be made that's gonna help the franchise, that can propel the propel the franchise to a winning situation, and you make the trade. Men say, oh, they should have went on, they should have. Went all in on the James Harden trade, but they didn't. Um, they should have did this and they didn't. But and 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 I'm seeing, I've, I've even heard this. 
Masai Ujiri is blocking the GM from making trades. I don't think that's, I don't know that's to be the case, and I don't think that's the case. Because, like I said, I've followed Masai from Denver because I was stationed out there and I always watched him. He, it's all about winning, but winning smartly and not throwing everything. Because I'm going to be honest, I even though I like James Harden, right? I'm not going to act like I don't like James Harden. James Harden is a beast. But I don't think he's the, and even he with Brooklyn now, but I don't think he's the, the answer, the, the end all be all. You know, I, 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 I didn't think that because his style of play don't match with Nick Nurse's style of play. Like he really, James Harden is a dribble, dribble, dribble play. Now, it's going to be interesting how that works in, in, in Brooklyn. It may can work, it may not. Everybody says it's gonna, they're going to sacrifice this, sacrifice that. That sounds good until the ball hit the court. We'll see. But what I will say is, James Harden, I don't know if he fit with the mold of, but what he would have brought was the ability to actually make, to, to, to be one of those closers. But then, hey, but and now I did put up a video, guys, and I know I'm, I'm a little rambling right now, but I, I did put up a video about Bradley Bill. That's one, if, 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 if this is only if, because a lot of times we don't know what happened behind the scenes. We'll be like, oh, man, they should have did this. They should have did this. How you know they didn't? They didn't call. How do you know that the GM or Masai Ujiri didn't try to try to make the deal happen? They were like, yeah, we're just not interested in none of your pieces. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how do you know that didn't happen? So we got to keep that in mind. Also, like, don't don't get too down on the team. I mean, two years removed from a championship, and they got some pieces. They got it, man. I just think they got to trust the young guys. I think, and that's that's natural with coaching. Is that you? You kind of want to like babysit the young guys. Oh, that's a rookie. Let's give him time. Oh, we don't know what Bo- Boucher got. Boucher is the guy, man. Let me let me let me go out on a limb and say that Boucher is the guy. This guy consistently puts up and play his role, and you just got to continue to let him do it. Continue to let him do it. I, I get Aaron Baines and Lynn and all these guys, but Boucher is better. Boucher is better. So and you can actually play them both because Boucher is sort of a power forward, more of a power forward than he is a actual center. So you can kind of play that dynamic. Um, but even even with that being said, man, I just I just want to make this video, and I know I ain't talked much about the game, um, but I just want to say to Raptor Nation, man, don't don't give up on the Raps, man. Like they they got it. It's just you struggle sometimes. You come out the gate, these things are new, things are moving. You know they're not at home. It's a lot going on. You know, they're not at home. They're they're not, um, you know, they're in unfamiliar territory. Of course, obviously with everything that's going on in the world right now. So don't give up on the team, man. Hey, and don't give up on my guy, Masai, man. I'm riding with Masai. All right? All right, guys. With that being said, man, again, I'm on vacation. But y'all know I wasn't going to let this go without getting the video out. And there's some things I wanted to get off my chest. So with that being said, please like, come subscribe to the channel. Till next time, you guys be good, man. Peace.